movies, maybe this. That's the difference with documentaries as opposed to other movies. You usually start with a script and you have a storyboard and you shoot to try and make everything fit. This is the opposite. You're taking footage that has been shot and you're trying to find a story in it. There's some people who don't care about that. Focus for my film. The subtext is about the relationships. And in our, you know, my mid-20s, I was wanting to think about marriage and children, but I didn't have any role models. I didn't have any idea how to do that. And so I thought, well, I don't really see many films of young people getting married, especially in this culture, especially in Los Angeles. No one wants to commit to anything. And so for I me, live in LA. That's a real generalization. I have kids, in too. My story, <laughs> the quick story is that I agreed to send us to Burning Man, her, him, and Jippy. Not Mark. Oh. <laughs> and then at the last minute, she's like, no, he's a good customer. If we just got married, it'll be cool. Oh, yeah, we were trying to make a honeymoon. We were trying to make a honeymoon. It was supposed to be a burning man experience that I'd never been. I was like, all right, it'll take a week to shoot. We'll let it in a couple of weeks. We'll be done. <laughs> Six years later. They had just started Graven Image Films. And I said, you guys, I really want to do a Burning Man movie. And so it was because we were friends and we've already been working together for almost 10 years. So I think if you have some kind of chemistry, just, and, and, and Naj is a DJ, he's got such talent. He plays all over LA. And there were just such obvious fits. He's so obviously amazing with the, the sound. And Jeffrey is so diligent and fastidious with the editing, he can really put the time in. And I had a lot of the artistic vision. And Ben, of course, was just great and just did some amazing camera work. So I think it was um, luck, yeah. hard <laughs> timing, yeah, yeah, and chemistry. Really chemistry. Yeah, you know, I think that's a great answer for your situation. But I think the question was more generic because oh, wait, everybody has friends. And the question is, how do you put together a team yeah, in a more yeah. practical way? And could you raise your hand so we don't Hi, guy <laughs> <laughs> one guy with the camera in the room. The practical answer is use your friends and people that you have chemistry with. Well, listen. On the, on the front end of your project, in the search for funding, how important is a trailer slash teaser? I think it's huge. Yeah. We, Honestly, we, I think it's. I've never, <laughs> I've never sold, a, I've never sold a project without it. Honestly, we got invited to this film festival. We didn't apply to it because of our trailer. Can you tell us what the budget was for your film, just FYI? Because I think I'm really proud of our budget. Ours? Uh, for the Ours? Man, for the Burning Man film? Uh, well, to send you guys up to Burning Man costs a little under five grand, but then... So I produced that film for less than $5,000. Uh, 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 so uh, 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 before the post-production, we got it in the can for less than five grand. It was a week of shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Burning Man only lasts a week. The tickets and the food and the whatever. But you can, yeah, you yeah. can definitely get creative with it. But then afterwards, the, the post-production, that still counts. So that started raising the six price. Six years. Of, yeah. uh, <laughs> like six just, years that she disappeared for. Well, we're up in the, in, the 30, in the 30 grand range right now. Our whole movie was edited because of the, the, the trailer. Yeah. We didn't have it edited. We didn't know where we were going to go. Un the unlabeled footage left ditched by, you know, the participants, not knowing what to, hey, to call it or, just to hey. Just to myself one thing. <laughs> 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 so as a female director with two male producers, the reason that I took okay. off for six years is because I felt that I was having yeah. such a hard time getting my point across and I felt bullied and I felt teamed up against. And I said, if you guys want to not take my advice or not listen to me or not, you know, with Ben, I mean, it was a very well, my director is a female, and she okay. will be here tomorrow with the film, and you can ask her. Uh, we we bullied a little bit, but that's part of the process of getting the film made and getting the best piece. Together. And that's for us too. My director acted like a female a lot. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I think for all women, I think that's insulting. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was saying the good part of the Something in front of me. In my case, I give up everything. Artistic control. Basically, I have no rights. I had no final cut. I had no editing. I had nothing. So that would Excellent deal, um, guys. <laughs> 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 and I was fine with that. Yay, guys, on the poster. So, you know, make sure you have things like posters, because buttons, buttons. You know, we're yeah, minutes. everything yeah. that we, you know, yeah. underwear. Yeah, everything. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. You know, and make sure you have branding. 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 Branding is a and very branding. important thing. <laughs> <laughs> a logo specific to the film, you know. Just 
And then once they see the, the logo and the brand over and over, they want to see little things over and over. They'll get familiar with your product. And if you keep using like our graven image logo, our is, is everywhere. And then it just kind of umbrellas your whole project. Okay, final word for anybody. Don't do this. Tomorrow. <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to spend the whole week at Burning Man with her. <laughs> oh, you're married now. Yeah. No, no, I was, the, I was the filmer. I was a cinematographer for it. And yes, I understand. I was going to have high tolerance for pain. You're the, you're the perfect person to ask this question. I want to ask What do you think is the right thing to shoot? Um, well, what? I mean, that's... For documentary. For documentary, I personally, I mean, with just little throwaway cameras like this. I love it. Just because so there's... 640. Yeah, um, well, this one's actually uh, native 16 by 9. 16 by 9. So it's 720. Yeah, but or 7... 16 by 9 is tricky stuff to work with. Yeah, I did, I'm having that problem. you got to machine, otherwise... Yeah, you got to bring it out. But yeah, but, but luckily Avid, like I, I use Avid, and Avid does, um, when they bring in their the 16 by 9... Final cut. Right. When uh, um, it does... Uh,